And we hereby call the council meeting to order. And could we have roll call, please? Council agency member, sorry, <laughs> Martner. Present. Council agency member Costa. Present. Council agency member Starbuck. Present. Mayor Pro Tem Vice Chair Lingle. Here. Mayor Chair John Lynn. Here. Okay. Anyone out there want to do oral communications? Seeing no one in the audience of 200 rise, we'll close oral communications and move on to appointments. And we have an appointment from Council Member Starbuck. Yes, but you have to turn your microphone on first. Okay. I'd like to move that we accept Alan Clark as my appointee to the Planning Commission effective 1 September. And a second, please. I second. And is there any discussion on this? And could we vote, please? And that passes 5-0. And now for unfinished business, we have Acting City Administrator Brad Wilkie. Thank you, Marilyn and Board Chair Lynn. This item, as we discussed at the last meeting, and the reason why we're here tonight, is to have the Board approve our enforceable obligation payment schedule. Uh, we've been w working on the schedule since the time that the stay happened that required us to do this. Um, the report basically outlines all the payment obligations we have through the RDA from now until the end of December by month and it allows us to continue the operations of the op RDA uh, through that time period and hopefully in early January we'll find out from the state Supreme Court whether the lawsuit that's been filed on our behalf and other agencies throughout the state um, what the results of that will be hopefully that it will be in our favor so we can con continue operations past this but this is a requirement it's not a requirement it's something that we is highly recommended to do to make sure that we can continue paying the bills we have to pay okay -do. and our city attorney the legal point of this please um, this is another illustrious action of our state legislature that's helping us um, perform our redevelopment functions um, it obligates us to have this list just so you can pay your bills. And would you consider this adequate and complete for the purposes of the court action? Um, for purposes of the legislation that we're operating under, <clears throat> yes, this will satisfy that. Okay. And Councilmember Costa? Thank you, Mary Lynn. If there's no public comment, um, I move that the agency board is required by ABX 126 adopt the enforceable obligation payment schedule. Uh, direct staff to deliver the schedule to the Santa Barbara County Auditor Controller, to the State Controller, and to the State Department of Finance, and authorize staff from time to time to modify the EOPS pursuant to ABX 126. And a second. I'll go ahead and second it. And we jumped slightly ahead, but I don't see anybody dying to comment. No. Ever, all two people are shaking their head no. And is there any other discussion? And then we can move to a vote. And that passes 5-0. And do we have any written communication? And we have none. And do we have any other oral communication? Da 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 da. We have none. And now we are down to adjournment. Is there anyone who objects to adjourning? Let, let the record show that we did this in four minutes and 30 seconds, and we beat Bob's record.